what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Minneapolis police say a student carrying a flag containing the word Trump was assaulted on Wednesday as students held a moment of silence during a national school walkout day protest. The altercation took place as hundreds of students gathered outside of Southwest High School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Two students confronted the ignorant Trump supporter first, then they were joined by four others, four other good Samaritans. They beat him up, took his flag, damaged his camera, gave him some minor injuries. The school resource officer who intervened is supposedly investigating the incident. The student was reportedly escorted off the property by the principal. You know, I know some of you are thinking, man, that is horrible. Man, these libertards, man. They they believe in freedom of speech, but only if you agree with them. Sounds like somebody I know. This, you can be mad about, but this is your own doing. You see, those of you who are upset about this, you didn't say nothing all of the times that these Trump supporters have been beating people up and taking their property and damaging their property. You haven't said anything. And I bet you haven't even said anything about those bombs going off on black folks in Austin, Texas either. You don't have a problem with that. But you got a problem when the so-called libertoids fight back. So they escorted the Trump supporter off the property. Some people say, well, that's not right. Why would they do that? You know, he didn't do anything. He's the innocent guy. Sound familiar again? Y'all brought this on yourself because this is how you act. You act like animals. If somebody don't agree with you, you want to fight. You want to shoot them. Somebody don't share your same views or have your background, ain't got your skin color, you want to pop them up. I don't know what people been waiting on. I think that's the only way to stop a lot of these ignorant ass Trump supporters who try to take the law into their own hands and beat people up and talk crazy to people. The only way to stop them is to give them some of their own medicine. The shit works. The way you stop a bully is by bullying. You don't stop a bully by reasoning. That's the only time bullies get uncomfortable. As long as you're sitting up there marching and praying and reading the Bible and hoping and talking about less talk and carrying signs around and protesting the box, man, they ain't worried about that. You're controlled. Especially considering that the police is going to be on their side. The police is always on the side of the oppressor. Remember that. Remember that the next time you grab one of those signs and run out there on that street protesting. The police work for the oppressor, not the oppressed. Boy, they uncomfortable now. Soon as a so-called liberal violate a Trump supporter, they get all online and start talking about civil war all over again. They keep forgetting one little small fact. They lost the Civil War the first time. And if it happens again, I can guarantee you that because of the way history played out and the broken promises, there are going to be a lot more people who are going to be a lot more vigilant about finishing the job this time. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?